Hey everybody, Snooplax here, and today we're going to be playing some Banjo-Kazooie in Bomberman 64. This mod is made by Mark Kirkle, and it's part of his stay-at-home collection. This is part 4 of the mod. The other three parts were Womp's Fortress in Banjo-Kazooie, Babom Battlefield in Banjo-Kazooie, Jolly Roger Bay in Banjo-Kazooie, and now this is Blue Resort from Bomberman 64 in Banjo-Kazooie. I've never really played uh, Bomberman 64 before, so before I played this hack, I actually played through Blue Resort in Bomberman for the first time. And I gotta say, I was pretty impressed by Bomberman 64, like, it is like a pretty fun game and it is very arcade style and actually really challenging too. So it'll be cool to play this level that I just played in like a completely different environment in a platformer instead of a Bomberman arcade style like game. So this part right here is from uh, Blue Resort Switches and Bridges level. Because usually this water here would kill you in Bomberman 64, but obviously Banjo Kazooie can swim, so we can actually uh, so we can actually swim in this water. So usually in Bomberman 64, this bridge you'd have to uh, press a switch to lower it, and then this area takes you to the next level. Right, let's see what this uh, NPC has to say. Did I close the window in my room before leaving? I can't remember. So usually you'd have to use a big bomb to blow up this bridge. And this area right here was is a completely different loading zone in uh, Bomberman 64. Then, uh, yeah, part of this mod is, it's a stay at home mod, so it does have some uh, quarantine-like aspects to it, like toilet paper for health. It's very cool. That's kind of cool, because usually in this part you have a couple tanks that are shooting at you, and they're constantly bombarding you, and those tanks were replaced with uh, the snowman here, which is pretty accurate. And then this would have been like another new loading area. They got this cool statue here. Got some slowdown going here, because I'm playing this on actual Nintendo 64 console via an Everdrive, so... It's running really well on console, other than this area is obviously a bit laggy, but look at all the stuff on the screen right now, you know, so... That is definitely understandable. This is probably the sub-area right over here, because each one of these, uh... Levels in this mod has a sub-area, so it looks like it's gonna be an NES-themed sub-area. <laughs> like, it has the controller and, uh... It's like pointing it out. It's pretty cool. Oh, we got Bomberman, of course! We got a very cool rendition of a, a Bomberman theme. Oh no, I should not have used that like that. Skilled Feather's like a power-up. I like how it's like completely top-down too, how he did that with the camera. Kinda reminds me of Pac-Man a little bit. I think that's pretty much everything that this area has to offer. This is a very cool sub area here. All right, and we're good. Okay, so we're probably gonna need uh, the fast shoes to get those, or the running boots, or whatever they're called. They actually have the waterfall working pretty well there too, which is very cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, um, I think it's safe to go over here. Oh sweet, so they're first Jiggy in there. There's gonna be eight Jiggies in this level, so. Oh wait, there's that ginger that we were hearing earlier. Okay, so that area over there opens up. Alright, let's see what's in here. Another sub area. Oh, this area. Oh, that's cool. So this is where uh, the boss fight is in this level. As you can see, I think that's the Easter egg down there. That's the, the uh, fish enemy that you face. I'm thinking there's going to be a Jiggy in here. Yeah, cool. So that's probably it for that area. I don't see any like jiggies or anything on the floor, so. Oh, so we, we can break these. Oh, there's the shoes. Okay. It's actually hidden fairly well. Alright, sweet, so let's look at that. Alright, 5-4. Oh wait, I actually made it. <laughs> Alright, so this area here. Another jiggy. The only thing I'm really wondering is one, we haven't found a flight pad yet, and there's lots of feathers, so there should be a flight pad in here somewhere. Alright, this area I haven't been to yet. Oh, there's a Jinjo. That one's actually pretty hidden. Oh wait, what? There's a... Sweet. 
sweet. Okay, we got a flight pad now. This is gonna be a game changer right here. That's where the ginger was. Now we should be able to fly through this. Alright, sweet. So we got a jiggy over there. Oh, I think I saw an open window right there, so... Oh, no. Okay, sweet. So now, we use that as another way to fly. Or, yeah, there is an open window right there. Oh, sweet. We got a cool little bedroom here with a ton of Easter eggs. We got... Uh, Bomberman 64, the box. Oh, Blast Corpse, another great rareware game. Yeah, Bomberman, Bomberman 64 poster. Door, oh, okay, I've got a jiggy up there. We got a poster for Diddy Kong Racing. We got the uh, Sheikah symbol, bunch of stuff, and Nintendo 64 on top with Bomberman 64. Very cool sub area there. Okay, sweet, and then there's the other honeycomb switch. Oh, the honeycomb's way up there, so I'll we'll have to take flight to get it. Alright, and those are the two honeycombs in this level. Hey, just the orange ginger left. Oh! So we can break these. Okay, so I'm gonna be missing a lot of notes from these then, and probably a ginger's can be hiding in one of them too. Alright, cool. So that's all the jiggies. I got all the honeycombs. I'm just missing five notes. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the final notes are going to be in these crates here. Yeah, just like that. That's it. That's everything. So yeah, that is Banjo-Kazooie in Bomberman 64. If you want to see me play the other parts of this hack, like Banjo-Kazooie in Womp's Fortress, Banjo-Kazooie in B bomb Battlefield, or Banjo-Kazooie in Jolly Roger Bay, links will be in the description. The next stage is going to be available sometime in May here, so when that comes out, we'll definitely be checking that out too. Obviously, insane shoutouts to Mark Kirkle for making this mod, and I hope you guys all have a great day.